Hi, this is Michelle Aiden with Libertas Institute at the Capitol with Representative Corey Malloy to talk about House Bill 259 regarding his gun bill. Can you first of all just explain your bill to us? Well, it's actually not a gun bill per se. It's, a, it's an enhancement to the no, no duty to retreat law, okay. which basically says um, in a self-defense situation, if you're being attacked by an aggressor or someone's attacking you or making you feel afraid for your life, that you do not have to retreat to, uh, to, to self-defend yourself, to protect yourself or a loved one. And so what the uh, bill does is uh, it enhances it to, and takes it to a different level in saying that you don't have to retreat even if there's safety close by. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then it goes on a little bit further and says that any information, uh, if you have to go to trial because of the self-defense action or whatever, um, you don't have to, the any information about you re not retreating is not relevant in a court of law. So they can't ask you questions that will uh, suggest that you should have retreated when you had no duty to do so. Okay, great. Are there a lot of other states that have stand your ground laws like this? Um, I'd have to double check to find out how many, but there are other laws and or other states, and there are some states that don't. Mm -hmm. um, there have been some states where it's been uh, somewhat controversial, but usually only when they can't make up their mind what it should be, like we've done here in Utah. They, Utah's done it the right way, and we're just adding that little extra bit of protection uh, to uh, the, the right. So, you know, you mentioned guns. If someone has to defend themselves with a gun, it would apply, or any other form of self-defense. Okay. Um, are you receiving any opposition on this bill? Uh, not opposition. Really, I've had no opposition. I've had some input from some of the legal community, some of the uh, uh, judges and some of the prosecutors. They wanted me to work on the language a little bit so it didn't feel like um, we were making it more difficult for them to do their jobs. And we've done that. Mm -hmm. But I still think um, we haven't changed the spirit of the law or the bill. And uh, it's moving forward into committee. It's been assigned to committee. Um, but hasn't been scheduled yet, so we're waiting for that to present that, but we're feeling really, really good about it. Good. Um, last, I'm just curious why this I issue is so important to you. Well, there's been, there's been instances where, uh, well, it goes back to the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. I am a strong Second Amendment believer, and so, you know, we, you know, if you find yourself in a situation where you have to defend yourself, it's very important that you have these protections. But there's also been situations in the past where the, the scenario we're trying to protect people from has happened, mm -hmm. where they uh, felt like they had to stand their ground, they had to sell, uh, defend themselves. Then it ended up in court, which is not always a, a surprise, um, even though they uh, have just exercised their, exercised their right to self-defense. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but where questions were asked, well, why didn't you retreat to safety? Mm -hmm. um, and they didn't have to do that. So it's not relevant to their case. And so that's what we're trying to uh, you know, protect people from. Okay, great. If you would like more information or to contact your legislator, just click on the link in the description below.